Hello, welcome to this video. This is the second time I filmed this because I just filmed it and I was re-watching the footage and I was like, wow, you are so oily. Let's delete that and do it again. So if you hear anything going on, okay, the street out there is super loud. I've closed the window and I'm kind of boiling, but there's nothing I can do. And before anyone comments, this is fake tan. I tested it out in the store and, you know, I was a bit silly and didn't realise that it would, like, tan my hand as well. And my makeup was done at the benefit counter in the boots on Oxford Street. I went there because I needed to get... I wanted to get some fake tan and stuff and I wanted to have the bigger selection than the little one that's on Tottenham Court Road. So I went there and I also went to Lush. And if you had a hair consultation and they told you what they suggest you to do with their products, you could get your hair braided for free and they put fresh flowers in. So like I've been like dropping flowers everywhere. I'm into a picture, but it's really pretty. And loads of people on the bus were like, wow, you look like Rapunzel. And I was like, thank you. Because all of you know, I freaking love Rapunzel. I'll put a picture out here of what I looked like two years ago for Halloween. Me and Adam dressed up as Rapunzel and Flea Rider. And my nan made the costumes and the dress is so amazing. And my hair was purple at the time, so I wasn't really kind of that Rapunzel-y. But my hair's like blonde now, so I was just like, wow, people think I look like Rapunzel. I'm so emotional about this. So, I'm going to tell you about the time when I was sort of catfished. Woo! Okay, so I wanted to do another story time video because my other one about my first date did super well. So I was thinking and I was messaging my really close friends and I was like, do you have any, uh, do you have any ideas of when I have a story time and my friend Martina, who you saw in the BFF's Take London and Thief Takes Phone vlog where her focus on a tower bridge, she was like, um, there was that one time when the firework exploded like by someone's window and I was like, that's a funny story but I don't think it's a whole video's worth of stuff and she's like, true, true. Then I was like, whoa, what about that time where this guy told me this and this and then this and I was like, wow. That's what we're gonna do. He said hi and he seemed really nice and I was like, a boy? And you know, I went to an all girls school so I was like, a boy? A boy? I was really big on MSN. And if you don't know what MSN was, it was a bit kind of like Facebook, but before Facebook, you it was a bit, it's a bit like Skype crossed with Facebook. Cause you had video chats and you could show if you're online or offline and it had just messages in it. There was also this thing where you could set like a little emoji gif thing for each letter of the keyboard and I did that and my whole like thing looked crazy because each letter was from like a different range. It was crazy. It was kind of kind of cute but kind of not. He added me on MSN and I was like wow this really nice boy added me on MSN and so I talked to him for a little bit and I video called him a few times and he was really nice he got mad at me that I wouldn't text him I wouldn't give him him I wouldn't give him my phone number obviously because I didn't want to be like anyone give it to strangers so I didn't want to give him my phone number because I only met him once and it was in passing so he got mad that I wouldn't give his text number and I wouldn't like text him during the day and he's getting mad so he got in this like kind of fit of rage that I wouldn't like give him my phone number and I was like, are you okay, calm down. And then he told me something that really threw me off. He said to me, I am transgender. And I was like, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? And he said that he was actually a girl who had transitioned into a boy and had the appropriate surgeries. And looking back now, I realize that that's just not possible because you have to be I think you have to be at least 16 and maybe 18 to have the surgeries and I think you have to be a certain age to have the hormones anyway. So you have to be a certain age to have the hormones and then you have to be a certain age that's a lot older that we just weren't because I was like 13 and he was like 14. He couldn't have had the surgeries. It's not possible. It wouldn't have happened. Looking back now, I knew that I know that he was, he isn't. And I have nothing against it. And I had nothing against it then. 
uh, but I just didn't really understand the whole logistics of it. And I was like, okay, cool, like, that's fine by me. I'm glad you're happy now. And that made him really annoyed, and I don't know why me being okay with it made him annoyed, but I think he was trying to like get me annoyed or something. And I was like, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna be annoyed by this. Please calm down. And so, he was really annoyed, and then he stopped replying to my messages, and then I said, and I was like, okay, this guy, not a very nice guy. And then maybe four or five months went by, and he said, he came back on MSN, and he sent me a really rude message, being like, I've got a girlfriend now, ha ha ha, and I was like, good for you. I never really wanted to be your girlfriend, but cool. And he was like, and she's pregnant and I'm going to be a dad. And I was like, 13 year old me was like, sorry, what? I don't know whether you know this, how babies are made, but because he told me that he was transgender and that his area down there was surgically made, that he... I don't think it's scientifically, I was like, I don't think it's scientifically possible that you are transgender and also impregnated a girl. So at least one of these is a lie and I couldn't figure out which one was the lie. Whether the transgender was a lie or whether the pregnant girl was a lie. And I was like, okay, one of these, at least one of this, one, at least one of these things you've told me is bullshit. And I don't want to deal with bullshit. So I'm sorry, but bye bye. And I blocked him and I blocked him on Facebook. I didn't have him on Facebook, but I blocked him on Facebook. I blocked him on MSN and I was like, wow, that's so weird. And this girl who I knew of, I'd seen her like uh, across the road before. So I was like, okay, I, I know she is. So if I see her, I can, I can see if she actually is pregnant or not. And so then two or three months later, I saw her at the bus stop on the side of the road, so I was like at this one and she was on the side of the road and I saw her and I can tell you she was not nine months pregnant or anywhere near nine months pregnant and I was like I knew it, I knew he had lied to me and looking back now I was like wow I have a catfish story but the, the catfish wasn't a thing and even Max, we didn't know them, we didn't know them and I don't even think they knew each other because this was in like 2012 we didn't know of them they probably didn't even know each other and honestly this story is so crazy to me that someone would use something so that's so much of a struggle for some people in their lives that they they struggle with it and they battle with it and it's a huge huge deal that he would use this as 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 like a weapon in this like weird thing and the fact that he lied about it as well, that's even worse. And I just want to like put it here that I am a huge ally to the LGBTQ plus community. And my channel and my comment section and my Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter are all places where you can be yourself no matter if you're transgender or gay or lesbian or bi or gender non-conforming or bi-gender or whatever. Whatever you are, you're safe here and I am completely against people lying about stuff like this because I think it can disvalue like the notion of something like that to people if you've been lied about that. So I hope this story made you at least entertained a little bit that he is such a such a bad liar that like those two, like he could have come up with any two other lies that actually would make sense because being transgender and getting someone pregnant, I think they're mutually exclusive. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was nice for you. Please subscribe and like and stick around. And also, please ignore my, my self tanned hand. Like if you just like ignore where it's not, it actually looks quite realistic. It's just obviously not because it's like a patch. Thanks for being a faithful and thanks for watching.